Hey guys, it's Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're doing a CAC reveal, basically giving our uh, projections of a coin if it would CAC and then seeing what it came back as. So we hope you guys enjoy today's video. So for all who don't know, CAC is closing again for the month of June. They announced this uh, yesterday or two days ago, I'm not too sure. It's really unfortunate because uh, you know a lot of us really rely on CAC for not only content, but for coins to be approved and then to find rightful homes for them. And so uh, tell me, you know, let me know what you guys think down below. Why do you think this is happening? We'll also leave uh, the link to go check out the article and what they said about it. Our goal really with sending stuff into CAC is to understand if we're right or wrong about a coin. Most people send coins in to get gold or green stickers, but I think what I've been trying to do and understand is that can I send a coin in, can I guess if it's right or not? So if, if, if it's a B coin, a C coin, or an A coin, can I guess if it's right? And what does that really mean? So uh, you're going to see a lot of C coins in this video, you're going to see a few B coins in this video, you're not going to see any gold cacks in this video. And that's just because a lot of them just weren't gold cack worthy. but if I call a coin a C coin, if I say it won't sticker, and then I'm right about that, I think that's a win. And people won't see that as a win, but I'll see that as a win because say you're at a show, say you're at, uh, you know, sitting down with some friends, say you're talking with somebody about their collection, you're going to be able to say, hey, this is a C coin, a B coin, or an A coin. We're all going to get C coins uh, back when we go send stuff into CAC, but like I said, it's really good to have like a an understanding of what a really nice C coin is and so let's get these coins uh, busted out and show you everything that we got and uh, give you a nice review all right guys let's start breaking down some coins showing you guys a few things that we sent in to PCG I'm sorry to CAC and uh, give you guys our opinion and then also give what we got back because uh, that's also important so let's take a look at the straight bust to begin with 1807 it's a nice coin I thought it was a nice original coin and I thought I had a chance at green sticker. Let's see what John and uh, his team said about it. Okay, so didn't get a green sticker. And uh, when I saw this not getting a green sticker, it's because it probably was retoned in a way. I'm not too sure though. You know, the, the pink or kind of purplish toning on the uh, obverse and reverse, I don't know if that's a red flag to them or it maybe just didn't meet numerical grade. Still trying to understand why this one didn't cack, but. Uh, very nice and uh, a lot of learning to be done with that coin. Up next is 1907 two and a half dollar gold lib and a rattler. Trying to get a nice rattler set going like this. Um, I thought this one a green sticker. Just not too many problems with the coin. Nice rich color as you mostly see. Uh, when you take off the sticker here we actually got um, a green sticker. So we guessed this one would be a green sticker and it did. I just saw this one as a nice example, uh, nothing too uh, off about it, and uh, most of the time you're going to see something with like residue or hairlines or just doesn't meet numerical grade for the coin, and that one did, so very happy about that. We got another 1907 2.5 gold here, and I didn't think this one would cack, and the reason being is because there is like a kind of a big kind of gouge on the obverse here, and when you flip over the reverse, there's a little bit of like whitishness above the head there and a little bit under the right wing and so that was my main issue with this coin and let's see if we were correct okay so we were correct about this coin it did not sticker but still a nice coin overall won't be in the set for sure but it will be offered on our website acousticcollectibles.com in case anyone is interested because I mean it's still a nice coin in a rattler and there's not too many out there being uh, sold and available right now are you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please leave a like. Uh, we really enjoy these reveals and we want to do more with you if that's possible. So make sure to subscribe down below and comment your thoughts about what your favorite coin is today. It doesn't have to be cacked. Um, and so we, we just want to see what you uh, have to say about that. But let's get back to today's video. Uh, up next is 1822 cap bus quarter. This one was graded VF35 PCGS. I thought this one was a green sticker just because of the originality of the coin. Let's flip over the coin before we show the reveal. So, 
There might be a little bit of cleaning on the cleaning on the reverse, which is our main guess about this coin when we first sent it in. I thought this one would green sticker for sure. Let's see what they say. Okay, so it didn't green sticker. And uh, you guys are saying, you guys are probably thinking, why isn't any of his coins stickering? I mean, they are very, uh, not strict, but they are very uh, exact in what they want CC stickers with. And this one just doesn't meet the, you know, doesn't meet the parameters, and a lot of them may not. So um, it's just something that, you know, over time is going to have to be worked on. But a lot of great coins never receive CC stickers. And so that's just the name of the game. And, you know, still a beautiful coin overall. Up next is this nice 1880s Morgan Dollar graded MS63. Has some horseshoe toning on the obverse. Um, just nice, beautiful toning for sure. Flip that over. Has a little bit of textile and reddish on the reverse. And I thought this one was green sticker because I don't know. I thought the luster was nice. I didn't think it was a terrible MS63. And let's see what uh, they said. So didn't sticker either. Maybe it just didn't fit numerical grade, which was my kind of thought of the coin. And so, uh, you know, it is what it is. I wanted to see anyway because, you know, a CAC sticker with this coin would be pretty nice for sure. And to show off the rest of the video, we have a lot of uh, Morgans from a collector that asked us to send stuff in. And we're going to see how well we did with that as well. So this is um, an 1883 Blues, the CC. Uh, nice nice cheek here, but there are a few scratches on the face and that was kind of my main issue in holding this coin back and saying it wouldn't sticker Overall though the luster is very strong in this coin. I think it's a nice example either way if it stickers or not Let's see what happens here with, uh, with CAC. Okay, so I think I think I, they, they measured up with me This is a nice 64, but this is not a nice 65 and so it was given to C coin just because of those kind of scratches there on the face. You can see right on the cheek there. Still beautiful, but not really uh, CAC worthy. Um, up next is this 1884 Morgan Dollar. This one's graded MS66 by PCGS. The toning for me really held it back. This is kind of suppressing the luster and uh, just made it a little bit lackluster for me in terms of. Should it be, you know, a 66 grade that's uh, a B coin? And so I said this one wouldn't sticker. Let's see what John said. Okay, so it didn't sticker either. And so we're, we're uh, you know, a lot of people say, let me guess and see and put the right coins in order. And whatever one's CAC, they do well with, right? And so for me, all I really want to do is help people send stuff in and let them know if it CAC or doesn't CAC. And so I think we're doing well because we're guessing and understanding um, coins off the bat if they would CAC or wouldn't CAC and then just following up with CAC to see if they do or not. And that overall, you know, in time, okay, this one didn't sticker, but overall in time, uh, it, it would help because if we're at a show and someone says, hey, do you think this would CAC or if you're at a, somewhere to eat and someone's asking you, um, you would know. You would have a good, uh, you know, understanding of the coin and the grade and so that's exactly what we want out of these videos so uh nice 1897 morgan dollar i just think it didn't fit numerically into uh the b category for ms65 and uh there's just a lot of hits on the face it's not a clean cheek nice reverse but that's not really what we what they focus on and so i graded this one no sticker and this one didn't get a sticker and so uh yeah i think they measured up on that one also Going down here to uh, this nice 1888 Morgan dollar. I felt this one had a really nice cheek. Luster is strong. Not too much haze on the coin. Let's see what the reverse looks like. Reverse is almost you know as clean as the obverse here. I think they really, I mean, at the end of the day, I think this one could be a 65 plus or 66. But they grade this one 65. Let's see what John said. Okay. So, got a green sticker here. That wasn't a surprise to me. I just think it was a nice, beautiful piece. A little bit of haze right up by uh, the top of the coin there. A little kind of toning spots almost, but that's probably what held it back from just getting that really nice gem looking uh, grade. I think it may have been dipped before. Not too sure. Uh, up next is a really nice flashy S Mint coin, 1890S Morgan Dollar rated MS64 by PCGS. I thought the cheek was nice and intact here. A little bit of stuff out in the fields as you can see, but. 
still a nice beautiful coin uh, you know luster is just beaming on this coin cartwheels and everything I thought this one uh, would green sticker because of those qualities I just think it's a really nice coin for the grade and let's see what John said okay so we got uh, a CAC sticker on this coin and uh, yeah it's just something to be understood that you know just look at that numerical grade and try to understand it and up next is this nice 1886 Morgan dollar uh, it's created MS64 by PCGS has some interesting kind of bag toning or something on the bottom of the coin covering the date I think it's interesting but I do think it suppresses the luster and it, even though that is a rainbow I just don't think it's attractive to me and so that's why I gave this one a no sticker if John or his team thinks that this coins not attractive with its toning then they won't give it a sticker and so that was my main thought walking into this coin let's see what they say wow so they ended up giving this one a sticker because they probably thought the toning was attractive and it was a decent 64 and so uh, congrats on the uh, sticker brother uh, for the collector I'm sure he'll be very happy and so I was wrong about that one but it's a good wrong right so you say there's no sticker on the coin but then it ends up stickering you're uh, you're you know you're delivering on some good promises there let me fix that coin real quick um, but yeah I mean pretty good pretty good thing so far here this is a nice envelope toned 1882 s Morgan you can tell this is an s because of just that really nice incredible luster on the coin I won't flip it over yet actually let's try it anyway uh, so you can see that really deep envelope toning right here suppressing that luster really taking away from the 66 grade in my opinion that's why I said this one was a no sticker and uh, let's see what happens here okay so I was right no sticker it's just the toning really suppressed the luster for me not on the obverse but mainly on the reverse and uh, it's just not really a a B type of quality coin for a 66 grade still a nice one overall but like I said it's just what I understand about CAC and uh, I guess I was right about that one up next 1882 CC Morgan dollar this one has some pretty nice uh, luster I like the cheek a lot on this coin and I like the fields and and so when I took a look at this coin overall I thought it would be a nice B coin and so I uh, guessed it would be a B coin green sticker and let's see what they said. Okay, nice OGH holder, 82 CC, CC approved. That's awesome. Very happy for him on that one. And uh, last but not least, let's show off this uh, 1885 Morgan dollar. This one's created MS65 by PCGS. And just the cheek on this coin is very strong. There's a little bit of chatter on the fields here, but I mean, we're looking at numerical grades here, and I think this one really does stand out for a 65. I think at the end of the day if we resent this one in it might be a 66 but I mean it's not too much of a crazy price jump. Um, I said this one was a no sticker because of uh, I think there was something that was bothering me about the coin maybe a big hit right there as you can see right behind the chin um, you know and it was just a 50-50 toss up because it ended up stickering so I guess they uh, overlooked that a little bit and gave this one a little grace but this one's pretty strong nice coin and uh, so we hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video let's cut it to the outro and the conclusion uh, a little bit of a mess here so in conclusion when we see everything uh, all sprawled out and uh, you know shown off I think we did really well uh, understanding how Morgans would do in terms of them CACing I think we got almost uh, you know I think we got 10 out of 12 correct in terms of our projections for the coins um, when we took a look at the gold, uh, we knew exactly what would cack and what wouldn't cack, so that was very good. Um, when we took a look at the older coins, you know, the drape bust, the cap bust quarter, all of that really still is some great area for us that we have to understand. And so, uh, overall though, a pretty good submission, a lot of understanding, a lot of great things that were, were said. And uh, yeah, I think this uh, was a very good experience. Hey guys, we want to thank you for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like. It would mean a lot to us. Comment your thoughts down below of CAC and uh, their closing. And also talk about the coins if you want to. And subscribe if you're new. But we will see you guys in the next video.